every two years you have the world champs and it kind of puts that person who wins on the right path leading up into the Olympics. So competing against other girls right now is pretty tough. I mean, Cassie, I think she's the best girl skier in half pipe right now. It's really hard to beat her because she's so good. J'ai été super triste de passer à côté de Mix Games. Right side, bio, J'ai fait un nouveau saut, enfin tout s'est super bien déroulé. Et après, ben voilà, je manque le podium de peu. Je suis encore une fois ultra frustrée. 48, oh. highest score of the night. When it's like this, that's it. It's done. I just said to her that uh, she has to be focused on the world champs. C'est que bonjour, c'est bonjour. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say competition? Competing. That doesn't work. Does it? <laughs> Adrenaline. C'est uh, gagné. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah, I guess I'm a pretty competitive person. I think you have to be if you want to do good on the big comps. When I was younger, I always wanted to win. I always wanted to be first and beat my sister. <laughs> I just love competing because I think it's also fun to test yourself like how good or how bad you are. J'adore la compétition parce que parce que déjà je pense que depuis que je suis toute petite, je suis une compétitrice et j'aime bien me mesurer aux autres et repousser toujours mes limites. Et, euh, et en dehors de la compétition, on doit s'entraîner pour être toujours euh, toujours plus fort que les autres et j'aime bien un peu ce challenge euh, un peu permanent qu'on a tout le temps. So we're in Park City right now. We are here for the World Champs. It's uh, every two years. It started with slope style until this year. Now we have big air as well. The vibes are so high. There's so many people watching and everyone knows what's on the line. So the World Champs are an important event to do well at. Tomorrow for half pipe, I would love to get the gold. But I mean, all the girls are skiing really well, and the level is really high. And Cassie's amazing. It's gonna be really hard. I'm just gonna try to do my best run, and then see how it goes. Now we're down to the business end of this final. I mean, Kelly Silverwood, all-round superstar in free skiing. Starting things off with the night, left the 900. Switch. In finals, we had three runs. After my first run, I didn't land my switch nine. It was my mistake, and I was pretty mad at myself. Usually, I always land my runs. It's so bad that you didn't land the first run. Not perfect, but... I wasn't sure if I should try to upgrade my run or should I do the same run, like my second run, what I did, but just do it better. I was thinking that I, for sure, I will be on the third place, so why not to try? We had a plan that maybe to do like switch 10 in a half pipe. Nervous. <laughs> Okay. Nice. First one. No. Trying a new trick in a competition run is insane.
I think it's pretty amazing when people get to step up and lace that run in front of thousands and thousands of people. Kelly is skiing like a machine. That's the best way I can describe it. I mean, with Cassie, it happens all the time. I'm first, and then when it comes to last run, then she beats me. But this is Cassie's bread and butter. It's her event to lose. We What's Cassie gonna do? Because she is that good. Oh my goodness. I don't think this is going the way that Cassie Now, the reigning world champion is gonna be out of Estonia. Yeah, oh, it's so amazing. I'm really shaking. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen at all, so I'm really surprised and it's just unbelievable. It's amazing. The video final is about to go down. de la vitesse parce que le vent est un petit peu plus de face que tout à l'heure ok she said greg stop talking to me about the speed i don't mind <laughs> missing the podium at x games big air for tess i think she's ready to redeem herself donner de mon mieux, j'ai fait des bons entraînements et puis et puis let's go. Most of the time I don't get nervous. It's the same as in the training. When I train I, I'm not nervous and I can ski my best. I want to do it and I'm excited for it. I just want to learn my tricks. <laughs> I'm kind of not here to get fourth. I didn't land the first trick. I was kind of confused because I don't really know what, what happened. I think I was just too chill. This time I landed short and I fell again and that was my second try out of three so I knew it was over and at this point I was very mad at myself. I just didn't want to go up again to do my third round because I knew I had no chance. My coach told me, you can do it again and just, just for your feeling that you know you can do it. I was so afraid to fail again that I did, a, I did another trick. It's how it is and I'm going to be better the next time. Okay. Euh, j'ai bien posé mon premier saut, j'ai fait un double cork euh, 1002 en mute. Je suis assez contente parce qu'il était assez clean. Et là, je vais essayer de faire un switch 1000 un peu désaxé vers euh, bio, on va voir. Et, euh, et voilà, il me reste deux essais pour le mettre. Et... Je veux juste que la même chose, le même saut, la même rotte, ouais, la même avec hauteur, une plus longtemps. mais tu le gardes. J'ai senti, hein. ouais. j'ai dit en bas, j'ai dit à Kevin et Toto, là j'ai posé, je suis rassuré, il faut que je garde mon drap plus longtemps. Ça. ça va le faire. Et avant de partir, on saura ce que tu changes de niveau. Ouais, je sais, j'aimerais tellement. Ah ouais. Ça faut croiser. Bah oui, mais ça, c'est juste de la concentration. Non, non, mais ça va le faire. Mais oui. Ouais.
c'est que... C'est mon jeu, c'est mon jeu. Voilà. Tu tues la compète. Allez Hello. Moi, je suis super contente. I'm very happy. Moi, je veux gagner euh, les championnats du monde de Big Air. Je suis super contente, c'est tout. Tess is a machine. <laughs> she has so many tricks and she can do right side, switch right side, left side, switch left side. She can like she can do all of them and at some point she's gonna explode and beat us all. <laughs> At the end of the competition, even if I'm not on the podium, I still can be happy if I skied as I wanted. At the moment, I don't know <laughs> what to think about the future. <laughs> Just want to keep, keep going and we'll see. I have big expectations about Mathilde's future because she has all of it. She has the talent, but still she has the the power to work her ass off for the success. For me, goals are quite important at some point. So I just want to enjoy what I'm doing, to have fun and just do my best. Je pense que pour ma carrière professionnelle, j'aimerais bien faire partie des, des, des filles qui ont poussé le ski freestyle féminin à évoluer comme ça et et devenir de plus en plus impressionnant. En plus, euh, j'aimerais bien aussi pouvoir euh, me diversifier et, et devenir de plus en plus complète, en fait. It's really important to have goals. Even if it's like a big goal, then you can have smaller goals that's easier to like reach it. You progress from having goals, um, both in skiing, in rehab, or like in life generally. Everybody's like pushing each other and they all like in a good momentum right now. So it's awesome to see. It's been super fun to follow for the last years and see the progression going way faster than what it used to be. I see the progression of women skiing in good hands with the current generation for sure. We definitely have to work a lot harder, I think, to try and keep up with the the level of the free riding in the women's free ski scene. And that's cool because that's what we wanted all those years. It's just going to go faster and faster, I think. There's no, no stopping. The current state of women's free skiing has no ceiling. The tricks they're doing and just the aspirations they have for their own skiing are growing. These four girls are amazing and they're the future of free skiing and I can't wait to see the huge things they do. Yeah.